Today is Thursday, March 12th, 2020. I'm Casey Moulton. The NBA has gone on hiatus. And I'm Zach Curry. Hiatus is a fancy way of saying cancel all games. News is next. Next Wednesday, March 17th, there will be a senior class meeting during second period in the Little Theater. That same evening, there will be a meeting with parents of seniors to go over important senior information from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the Little Theater. Messages will be sent home regarding this, but please make sure you and your parents are aware of these meetings next week. Congratulations to Thela Cruz, a member of the Nampa High Speech and Debate team who was selected today to represent Idaho at National Speech and Debate Championships this coming summer in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She will join over 5,000 high school students at this prestigious event. Attention Foreign Language Society. There will be a meeting this Tuesday, March 17th, in room 201 right after school. We will be setting up for the Empty Bowls event. See you next week. Girls, are you stressed about how to pay for your prom dress? Some Days Discount is offering free prom dresses for students who stop by their store between March 3rd and March 14th. If you show your student ID, there will be no cost for the dress. The address is 206 8th Avenue South in downtown Nampa. It's first come, first serve, so get there early to find your dress at no cost. Today's activities include state BPA, tennis at Columbia, track at Middleton, baseball at Emmett, softball at Emmett, at, softball versus Emmett at West Park. A quick note before we take our break. Always check with your coach to make sure your game is good to go after school. We'll be right back after this. Did you know you can get a ticket for speeding at school? Speeding on school property and getting caught is not a speeding ticket. It's considered reckless driving, which is a misdemeanor. When you speed and are caught, there are many penalties. Two that may be important to you are having your license suspended and having your parents' insurance increase by 73%. Speeding is not okay, and we need to follow the 10 mile per hour speed limit in the back. We have speed bumps for a reason. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile's your first impression. Make yours a great one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today, we can expect a high of 52 degrees and a low of 33. Tomorrow, a high of 58 and a low of 29. Back to you, Zach. The NBA announced that a player on the Utah Jazz has preliminarily tested positive for COVID-19, and the league will suspend the season indefinitely. A source tells the AP center Ruby Gobert has tested positive for coronavirus. The test result was reported shortly prior to the tip-off of Wednesday night's game between the Jazz and Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Thunder at Chesapeake Energy Arena. At that time, the game was canceled. The NBA said in a statement, the affected player was not in the arena. The NBA went on to explain it is suspending game play following the conclusion of Wednesday night's scheduled games until further notice. In an extraordinary move, the NCAA announced Wednesday the men's and women's basketball tournaments will be held as scheduled at all venues next week, but without fans present. NCAA President Mark Emmert said in a statement that he made the unprecedented, unprecedented decision to move the events behind closed doors after consulting with public health officials in an attempt to slow the spread of the novel coronavirus, which has infected hundreds of people across the United States over the past week. Attendance at the NCAA NCAA tournament events will be limited to essential staff and family members, the NCAA said. To be completely clear, the situation is open to change, so if you want to be sure, then stay informed and check the news. The ACT word of the day is notable, which means noticeable, plain, and evident. You could use it like this. By canceling all games, the NBA is notable, exception to how sport is dealing with the COVID-19. That's the news. Thanks for watching and remember, no risk it, no biscuit.